Hello everybody and welcome back to iRacing. It's been a while. As you may notice if you've watched my videos before, things may look a little different. We will go over that, uh, what's changed, what will be new in terms of my iRacing content. But first we need to get through the start here of the BMW GT4 fixed from the Red Bull ring as we nearly have a crash before the start. Uh, so this okay, is a fixed setup right race. Now. We are starting dead last on the back. Green, green, the green, green flag green. is out. And we are racing at the Red Bull ring for the first time for myself in iRacing. We got a guy who's going to be looking right up the inside. Clear right, you're clear. One guy goes way off. We're just going to let them have it in that first turn. Uh, I wasn't about to make it three wide into turn number one as we now head down the quote unquote straightaway up towards the hairpin. Very slow run up on these cars, of course. These are GT4 cars. Not going to go ahead and make a move there. Is one nearly side. some contact in front of us. Everybody did a good one. job to avoid that, but we'll pick up P19 there. You can see we're currently racing around some C and D class drivers, so. That always leads to some fun competition when you are racing Left lower side. classes. As We're we go left. ahead down the inside, he's going right. to go ahead on the switch back down to the right-hand side. Clear right. Right side. And we'll take the spot. Now we got to hold on to P19 here as we have a crash up in front of us. We're going to let them go. My main objective is to clear the crash. We go ahead and do that and get up some free spots. This car is very, very weird to drive because these slower cars have very different throttle points from what you're used to when you race the tracks you're used to for other cars like Formula One here. Keep it steady. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite tracks in the Formula One game, so it's very Still different there. driving a car this slow. Keep it steady. Clear as the 18 sticks it around the outside of the corner and holds on to position. Some excellent driving there from him. B17. But up to 17th, not sure what was going on here as he goes way wide, give him the room there. But yes, as you may have noticed, no longer in VR for our races. I have switched to triple monitors. Of course, you're only gonna be seeing the one um, but that's why I've included stuff like a radar to help you guys kind of understand where their cars are. And uh, this is actually my first race in the triple, so my pace isn't quite there yet, as you may have noticed. But this is to kind of provide some, you know, to, to a short look into what's going to be different here in terms of my iRacing content. As they go, because these two are really going at it. Here they make contact! And we'll get past both of them. Clear left. But, uh, yeah, so it wasn't because I wanted to switch to triples. I wasn't doing iRacing. It's just life got in the way, and you know how time-consuming iRacing can be. But now I am back doing iRacing. Made the switch to triples. I do still have the VR headset, so I wouldn't call out a return to VR iRacing uh, as a never say never. However, I do, even though this is my first race, I've been doing some practice with the triples, and I gotta say, I'm absolutely loving it so far. Just rocking some 27 inches, and in case you're wondering about the monitors. As we now have two guys we gotta try to defend from behind us here. Um, in practice, I was running 139s. However, my pace is just way off in the race. Um, and I'm not 100% sure why. I think I'm just not pushing it as much. I was, you know, in practice, I always feel a little more uh, confident to push the car. But in a race, you know, I'm trying to take care of it, trying to make sure I don't go off the road. As Clear to the left. I had to dive to the inside because the guy behind us nearly ran into the back of us. But also, when you don't drive cars like this very often, they are very weird to get used to, especially at a track like this. 
And uh, this track in particular, especially this corner, very difficult in this car. It locks up easy. Still there on our left-hand side. This corner up here also difficult because it's a blind corner. If unless you're in like the F1 games and you're in the T cam. Now this corner, oh, running way wide there. Now this corner right here, for some reason, I struggle with. I don't know why. Still there. Clear left. For some reason, I just can never get through that corner uh, very well. So I kind of knew uh, when I was P car number 20 that I wasn't going to be very fast in this race, considering I only had about 20 minutes of practice, as well as the fact I've never driven this car before. Um, while I've driven this track in many other games, I've never driven it in iRacing. And you know, even though it's, yeah, same track, it's it always takes getting used to when it's in a new game. Especially in something like iRacing where it's laser scanned as opposed to uh, the Codemasters games where it's very clearly not laser scanned. <laughs> so. Down to second gear for the hairpin there. Went a little wide again, get another X there up to two. So we've completed three laps so far, working lap four. Still got six minutes to go, so halfway in the race. This race is flying by pretty fast. This, Like I said, this is uh, not a very long video today, just kind of a, a welcome back video, getting my feet wet again. Um, this is literally the first race I've done since the last time I uploaded an iRacing video with the next gen car at Darlington, which is when those like first came out. <laughs> so it's been a while. Hoping to get back into iRacing more. Um, love road racing. But a car like this, definitely something different to get used to when, you, when in the past you have done iRacing. It's always been cars like the Dallara LMP2 or, you know, formula cars. So always takes a little bit getting used to again when you have to get into a slower car because they do they drive so incredibly different okay, from how you drive a fast car you have to learn to attack differently and it's you know it takes some getting used to you can see those two a and a c class still side by side up in front of us now this guy behind us he is two laps down so i don't know why he was making these moves because he really shouldn't be battling at all because again you're two laps down <laughs> you're gonna finish uh there so you know calm it down let the people in front of you do their racing but of course he is a c-class um you know still learning this is the thing this is a lower class series hence why the races are so short and why it is a mix of a and c and it can also explain why someone, and you know, this isn't to make an excuse or anything, but you know, it's why an A-Class can come in here and be a little slower. Yeah, you may be an A-Class, you may have more I rating, but you're not used to driving these cars like these guys who have the license only for this dude. This is what they have to race. You know, this is their bread and butter right now. This, this is, uh, you're essentially coming down and bushwhacking as the old NASCAR term used to be, you know. And if you're not used to driving something like this, it can really take a little bit to get used to. These two really going at it in front of us. And speaking of getting used to, you know, those two corners right there, it's always a thing of t track limits when Formula One comes to town for that race. But even here in iRacing, it's got to figure out where's that line? Where can I keep pushing? Where can I go wide? Where can I not with this car and still get away cleanly and not have an X added? to my incident count. We're only at a 3x right now, so not bad. But obviously, it'd be better. And, you know, luckily, I guess, these are all my fault. I think I'd rather they be my fault as opposed to getting hit like that guy behind me is almost done now. Two laps in a row. So, always take what you can get. 
You can see the pace has come back down to those 139s. So we are getting there, and I'm actually starting to lap faster than I did in practice. So, you know, again, it's what these guys at these lower levels need to learn. It's just reps and everything. But when you've been away from iRacing for several months and the road racing side even longer, I think the last road race I did was IMSA at Long Beach. <laughs> And that was how long ago? You know, it really got to get used to it again. I, this guy's going to wreck me if I don't let him buy, apparently. As I told you, that turn, for some reason, I have major, major issues with it. See, in that time he let me go, I don't understand what this guy's doing. But oh well. <laughs> uh, if this happens to be your first time watching me do iRacing, welcome. I promise I'm not always this slow. <laughs> like I said, this is not something I'm used to. But it's still fun. It, it's always fun to go to these slower touring cars uh, and kind of remind yourself what it's like to drive these cars. And they are good stepping stones to handling those faster stronger, you know, GT3 cars. It, it, it's truly amazing the difference you get going from this, which is a GT4, up to that next step of a GT3. And then again, the next step at a GTE car, or, you know, GTLM, or however you want to view it. But it's amazing how much of a difference there is just in one step to the next. So with 45 seconds to go, this should be the white flag we're coming to. I don't believe it's plus a lap. I don't know if iRacing has that feature. I honestly don't remember. We'll find out when time expires, of course. So here comes this lap car again. I just don't understand what this guy is doing. But I'm on the lead lap. I'm not messing with him. I'm just going to let him go. So yes, white flag here. And then he lets me go. I, I think he needs to spend more time in road for sure. White flag, looks like there's a big pack up in front of us. Maybe we'll get lucky, they wreck. And we gain some easy spots to end this off. But who knows? Like I said, it's just been nice getting back into it as it looks like there is a caution. Oh, yep. That's that C-class guy who had contact earlier going around. He was 14th, that will move us up to P15 for now. Sector two here really is a very difficult section in any car, but especially these cars because of the poorer braking. You know, overall, this is just such a fun track. Honestly, one of my favorites in the entire world. And I'm so glad we're getting more F1 tracks into iRacing. Of course, we're getting the Mercedes soon. I believe it's this year's 2021 Mercedes. And that's going to be fun. Hopefully, people actually race it this time. But if not, it'll be fun to, you know, at least hot lap in. So at least we'll have something there. Run wide. One more time for good measure. Ooh, this guy's got to run. To the line, we'll hold it. Right. 15, and take okay. P15. Spotter, crew chief guy's not too happy, but like I said, I don't care. That was my first race back in several months, and to get my feet wet again felt great. So definitely more to come. I'll definitely be faster in future races. This was just a welcome back, and to let you know what's changed. But I hope you guys did enjoy it either way, and I'll see you next time for more iRacing content. Bye.